Uh, hello. I wanted to do a quick video um, because I just used my new backpack for the first time today and I love it. It's like a little backpack because I, um, I wanted something like so when I like go to the city and stuff like um, catching public transport I wanted to have something like because I like to carry my um, Kindle so or Kindle or iPad mini or things like that. Um, so I can read on the train and stuff, but then when I get to the city, I don't want to hold it. So, um, like, like normally I would have to carry like my normal backpack, which is like, I love my normal backpack, but it's kind of big. So sometimes I'm just, I just want to carry my like iPad mini or something and maybe like a drink bottle or something. So I don't need something so big. So I thought, um, you know, uh, I wanted something that like I could carry just the iPad in you know, and, you know, something small, and so what I did was I got a Timbuktu, um, a Timbuktu, it's called a Pisco, that's the, um, the, t the model type, P-I-S-C-O, Pisco, so that's the size of it, so, and I've got stuff in there already, and it's so cool, I, I used it for the first time today, and, um, I really liked it a lot. Uh, it fits my iPad mini in its case really easily. Um, I put my water bottle in there, uh, wallet, keys, um, and it's awesome. Like, and it, and it probably could fit a little bit more too, but and I felt like when I was carrying it, um, it was really even. Like, the shoulder straps were really comfortable. Um, it felt really even, and it was like I wasn't. It was like I wasn't even carrying anything. It was great, great having it. I really like the look of it too. Like, I I like the color that I chose. It's really, I like it a lot. Um, so I'll just show you what I'll show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. <clears throat> so that's how it looks when I'm wearing it, the straps. And if I turn around, <clears throat> so that's the stuff inside it. Um, okay, and I'll show you just some stuff. <clears throat> right angle. So, it's got the front pocket, like that, um, I put my wallet and stuff in that, and it's also got this um, strap, it's for keys, so before I came to the house, I had the keys attached to this, this is the first, today is the first time I'm using it, I'm guessing that it's, it's got that so that your keys don't drop out or you don't lose your keys, I'm thinking, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then there's the bigger compartment. <coughs> so it's got two zips and stuff. Oh, so I had my iPad mini in there, which is inside its iPad two size case. Yep. And then take that out. Um, and also. I had, it has like, look, it has these, um, pockets, which I, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, so cool, like, uh, like, I would have been happy if it didn't even have that, but it, I just like when you get stuff and it has some extra things on it, that, you know, like, I could put my phone and stuff in that, there's so many pockets, isn't that so cool, um, another one there, too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That feels really good just to have so many options. So I had my phone in that. So if you had one of pens and stuff, you can put in that. And also there's a zip here, which I'm opening for the first time. And so you got like a little compartment if you want something that you just want to keep like safe in there. I suppose I could even put my phone in that. Yeah. So then it's like in its protected little spot. It won't drop out of my bag if I if it tumbles and stuff. Um, and then on the inside, it's got the compartment. Oh, here's my water bottle that I had in there. And I just that. And here's the compartment where I guess you could put your um, iPad in there. It's nice and like, it, I don't know, it's soft lining and stuff, so it's not going to scratch if you didn't have a case. Um, that's my 3D glasses, which I will leave in here because I watch a lot of movies. And it's nice to have your 3D glasses just here in case you forget to bring them or something. Um, but yeah, it's cool. So if you put something in there, it will secure it with the Velcro. Um, so yeah, that's it. Looks really cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's waterproof. 
Yeah, I think it would be waterproof too because the inside's like that material. So waterproof. Um, I love it. I really, really like this bag a lot. Like, um, I've read a lot of reviews on Amazon and everyone said they really loved it. And Timbuktu um, said that a lot of people were ringing, telling them that um, they wanted something like just really small just to fit their iPad and stuff. And this is what they came up with and they did a great job. And it's stuff like this that makes me really like companies. Like, um, I've never had a Timbuktu bag before, but I've read a lot of people posting that they love their Timbuktu bag. And... Um, so this is my first one and it makes me more inclined if I have to ever get another backpack to get it from that company because it just feels really well designed. Um, I reckon it looks really cool. It feels good. Got, i got no complaints about it. I love it. Actually, not just, I don't just, it wasn't just it fulfilled its purpose. I actually really like it. When I was walking with it, I was like, well, I mean, I like it as much as the things that I'm carrying inside it. Like, I love my iPad, I love my Kindle, stuff like that, and the thing that I've got to carry it, I really like it as well, so, um, I think that's all I want to say about it, except that I really like it, it's the Timbuktu Visco, um, I think it's, I don't think that's called bag or something for tablets or something like that, so, I highly recommend it, it, when I, what I got it, I think it was $39 American for that one, um, I think for some reason the different colour of the same one was $59, so, Luckily, the colour that I liked was cheaper, but, um, so, I got it from the Timbuktu website, so, and then, you know, with delivery, postage and stuff to Australia, it ended up costing me about $70, which was pretty good. I'm very happy with it.